In this video we are going to understand how climb jumps work. All climb jumps are organized by the jump direction. If you look at the animator you will see it. It's divided by four directions, right and left, up and down. It means you can jump from a ledge to right or left, jump up, or drop and jump back. In each of the sub-states, you will have three states related to jumps. The first one is the beginning of the jump. This animation is when character is leaving the ledge. This animation still use root motion from climbing script. The second one is the animation that will play when character is in the air until gets the next ledge. This animation is handled by another script, called climb jump. This animation doesn't work with root motion. In this animation, speed is set to match the jump time. System calculate the time to reach the next ledge and, then, set the animation speed to fill all the time and reach the ledge. If you have short distances, this animation will play faster. If the distance is greater, this animation will play slower. The last one is the animation that finally grabs the next ledge. You can have different grab animation accordingly the jump that character has made. You can see this example for hop right. Opening the animator controller, and then, climb right substate, you can find these three states, hop start, hop air, hop end. In hop air, you can see that this animation uses a parameter to set speed. You can set all this animations in the climbing and climb jump scripts. Jump to hang and jump to lower climb are animations that play when character jumps from a ground and will grab a ledge. Now, let's take a look at these scripts in Unity. Select your character and find climb jump script. Let's take a look at these script parameters. You can see it is set to enter with default jump button, when player press down the button. You can change if you want. In the custom properties section, we have some general parameters. Use launch math is set to true by default. It means you want to use all math calculations to get precise jumps and reach the next ledge. If you uncheck it, system will not use math calculation for jumps. It affects all other climbing abilities that use math calculation. You also have climbables layers. Here you set which layers system should treat as ledges to climb. It's only useful when character is grounded and then start a jump. When character is already climbing a ledge, system will get the layer mask from climbing ability. Max angle is useful to detect which ledges around is possible to grab. By default it's set to 60. If you want to grab more ledges around character, you can increase this value. This angle is calculated based on character forward direction. It means that character can only find ledges that are 60 degrees or less than character forward direction. There are also debug properties. This properties is to see character trajectory, like the image. If you disable it, nothing will show to you. Resolution is how precise this trajectory should be drawn. This trajectory is only drawn if you enable gizmos in the game window. Now, let's take a look at jump parameters. Now, every animation state property has another property called clip duration. Clip duration is the length of the animation. This value is important to system to calculate the clip speed to match all jump time. If you change the animation, this value must be updated to get correct calculation. In the end of this ability, there is a button to get new clips duration. We will see it later. Let's back to jump parameters. Jump to hang is the animation that plays when character leaves a ground and try to grab a ledge. Jump to lower is another animation that works like jump to hang, but for the lower climb situations only. You can set min and max jump height. Every time system finds a ledge, the jump force will be calculated to reach a height between these two values. Horizontal speed is a fixed value. This speed will be applied in the character in the horizontal plane, X and Z axis. These three parameters are available for each type of jump. It means you can set different jump heights and speed for each climb jump. For example, to jump from a ledge to another, character can do a low jump. You can see in the hop right and hop left that jump height is different. 
it means that character can do jumps with lower heights. All parameters are the same until the end of this ability. You just have to set different jump heights and speed if you want, and also change jump animation clip. Let's see now how to use the update clips duration button. Open the animator. Enter to climb down substate. Imagine you want to change jump back end clip. Select any other animation clip. Now, return to climb jump script. If you click on update clips duration, you'll see that clip duration from jump back will change to match the new animation duration. Every time you change any animation for climb jumps, remember to update its duration in this script. Doing this you allow system to calculate speed and get precise jumps. That's all for this tutorial, thank you for watching.